I'm John here. Today is uh, Tuesday the 5th of July 2016. I'm just about to call my barrister for Cook Street, uh, 77 Cook Street, to see what's going on with the police, uh, why I haven't had a court case yet. In the meantime, I've been busy with uh, our land block um, down the east coast in uh, Port Awanui here. Is working with uh, uh, Tumutumu Paeroa Trust um, with this block heading A12. Uh, we're going to um, implement a plan and I'm hoping that there's a block there. Uh, so uh, we're going to um, drop some plans for the shareholders. Um, we've got a lease on the property with one of the owners. Uh, so I'm just going through the financials at the moment um, until we have a meeting again uh, on the 28th of this month, oh no, 20th of this month with Te Tumutumu Pairoa in Gisborne again at the Emerald Hotel uh, for two more other blocks of land. So I'll be the trustee of this one at least and We'll see what happens with the other two blocks. One is this one's 40, 46 or 47 hectares. It's quite a big area. It runs along the top of the ridge of um, Port Awanui Road from Rotoria to the east coast, um, uh, not far from the beach. Our turbines for the tidal energy uh, project is off. Um, Renfrewley Bank, that's in our area of our ownership of the coastline and the foreshore seabed uh, that um, we're implementing that tidal uh, from there straight to Waitangi Marae, uh, King's Bench Court, and the chiefs there of Napoli and the flag here that you see flying here. So this flag at the moment uh, is the contract, the private contract under Admiralty Court Martial Law with King William IV and the British Government, the new British Government and the Navy, British UK Navy and military. So that's still in place since 1835, the Declaration of Independence of this flag in this country, New Zealand, out there. And it gave us free passage through the world to trade with the banknotes, the pound note that you see on our site, and also commercial trading between any state in the world we wish to trade. At the moment, we are setting up on this block, hitting a 12 block, that jurisdiction, straight to the chiefs in Mapui, uh, Kingi Tauru, at this present day time, is supporting this land project, one of many more to come, as one piece of land under this jurisdiction of Admiralty um, Court Martial Law. That's the only flag in the world that can exercise that right straight from British government. Now that they've broken off with the EU Parliament and government in Brussels, they're on their own. We're going straight into business with them, as it was, as it still is, under that contract in Acts of Parliament of UK, um, 1835 jurisdiction and constitution. There's a constitutional flag and a um, right to British protection of our business on this block and every other block that follows after that. So, uh, although Te Tumutumu Pairo is a Crown Corporation, it comes under the laws of the Pope, um, Vatican laws that have destroyed all trusts and corporations. I'll make that quite clear that the law has changed as far as land, uh, total of the land laws of England as applies with us, the King's Bench Court, whereas this is the Queen's Bench Court. So this is running debt system of financing 
projects and we're going under credit system of King's Bench pound note currency and the gold coin currency and our hydrogen project uh, um, fuel and water currency water money currency we're already um, advertising that fact under this flag uh, as our right of commercial contracts in the private which is admiralty law uh, so now um, the British government uh, looking for a new Prime Minister I'm writing to the British military um, 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 Nicola, Nicholas uh, um, the chief of the of chief of military uh, Nicholas Horton Sir Nicholas Horton I'm writing to him I'm writing to Sir George Zambalas, um, Chief of Navy, uh, Rear Admiral of the Fleet, uh, to express our contract obligations from them to protect our business on our lands and all our commercial contracts that we take up from this block of land and every other block of land that we propose to work on. The other two blocks are in Tiki Tiki, one is 220 hectares and the other one is 84.7 hectares. So those two blocks I'm going to a meeting in Gisborne with Te Tungutungu Kairoa Trust who are looking for the original owners to administer the blocks themselves. Um, so that's what I'm going there for and see who else is going to turn up and to take on that position. And the people that we are with um, uh, now, the uh, leasers of the block, this block, getting a 12, uh, may be interested in those other land blocks and farming them. We're not farmers, uh, me and my nephew, and my daughters, and my son, um, if they so wish to be interested in helping to get the business going on that block, then that's to come yet until we secure uh, the property um, in September. Um, although we are working with the owners um, of next door of their lease uh, to continue to lease the property here, getting an A12, uh, then we can make some agreement to go on the, the block earlier while they're still leasing it. <coughs> That's by mutual arrangement. So I'm just saying to uh, Jamie in uh, Fukutani that we are starting our business um, because she has um, uh, some business interest with it and us uh, to um, my secretary uh, to pick up and learn what to do with land um, for her own um, families uh, who are a bit sceptical about us working together, but however, uh, the only thing to do is to go and do it. So we have uh, a headway now, head start into anything we say online as being as necessary truth. So today I'm going to ring the barrister now, right now, Shannon Withers uh, from Welcome Chambers, and to see how we're getting on with Cook Street. I'm going to confiscate that under this flag, jurisdiction, and the new Britain uh, that's forming at the moment since they uh, pulled out of the EU Parliament and um, exited, Brexit um, got out. And so that makes us um, left alone with Wales and England and Aotea New Zealand, the natives here and the people who are on our side who support us. It's the same as in Britain. Now you have a division of people who are Remainers in the EU and those who are exiting or leaving. I suggest those people who are remaining in the EU shift over there and go and live with them and don't conflict with what we're doing with Britain and this flag around the world. We are saying to the British military and the British government, the new government with the new Prime Minister, this flag will send you flying around the world in 250 countries because we're already doing 
the um, original contract as it should have been all the way through. The natives here should have taken this flag and governed their own country. We, our ambitions are to self-govern. It is our right to self-govern the country before any threat to take it over for the TPPA and the New World Order kicks in. That's not our aim. Our aim is for the people, the common people of the world, to get in behind Britain and this flag and start trading. It is a trading flag. It is the only trading flag in the world that's a shipping flag. Okay? So I'll look for his number. Um, where's Lloyd with us? Here, here he is. Okay, let's go. Listen up. I'm hoping he's there. Yes, hi, um, uh, Shannon. It's John Wanoa here. Been a while since I've spoken to you. Uh, a lot has changed since, but I'll write to you today just to update on where we are. Um, the um, chiefs up north are, are more in behind what I'm doing, as well as you've got a shift in power in Brexit in Britain with the new British government now straight to us, uh, as we are Wales and England, and us here, the native with this flag we have, um, will be more prominent now in trading direct. Okay, so I want to still finish off the case with Cook Street and confiscate it with this flag and the Chiefs. They're ready for it um, at the moment. We're just waiting on you and what um, Natalie Flower Dew Brown is going to do. She should have been subpoenaed into the court. Uh, by now, I'm surprised that it's taken so long for her to be in the court to hear the case. I've got more information on my um, um, to give to you, uh, but at the moment I'll just touch base with you. Give me a call, or I'll email you with the, uh, what I, where I'm at at the moment. Okay, thank you for now. Bye. Yeah, that's the message to my barrister. We'll see how fast he reacts to that, but however, uh, the irony of this case on Cook Street is that the police are hanging out on me uh, with responding to my accusations against them and fraud that's occurring with the Panama tax havens and their part in third party with the landowners. So those landowners, I'm still pursuing to take the property from them to, as a consequence of their fraud, cover up uh, on land issues. When we come to land, I'm in land issues at the moment with this property. As acquired of 30 land blocks, I'm an owner in, on the East Coast as modeling out those land blocks is no different to Cook Street or Waitangi land blocks at the same time. We are seizing the treaty grounds and the marae and the ship of King William and this flag off John Key because it belongs to us. That is our contract. That's not the Queen's contract. Her contract is that 1840 obelisk in the Titi Marae. The Admiralty ship with the British flag and our flag, the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag of this country, set the declaration here first, is that ship next to the Waitangi Marae is our title. I claimed it inside the Marae and had a meeting there. I'm taking that authority with King Itaurua as military man uh, to enforce all our laws as it was in 1835, back to 1830 to 1837, King William's reign as a monarch. He's our monarch and our oath of office 
and our other oath of office is Maui Statue, Taheijin Memorial, uh, inheritance title to these lands, and all the Pacific. Okay, so those two titles, King William's title, memorial, in uh, Devon, England, and Maui Statue in England, standing in Queen Elizabeth's Great Court, the museum, that's our title, and the Maui standing in Auckland, that's another title with a real Maui statue stone from East Island. That's our title. And also in Dunedin, the other one, um, uh, is the Maui with the crown on his head. That's the crown, Earth. Now that you see the Pope has changed his religion out of Mary and Jesus and gone to something else, which is Islam, and that's thrown a spanner in the works with all the churches as being there for their own personal reasons and their own personal fortunes and privacy acts of admiralty that they've used to make their money. This is the only instrument of law in a King's Bench Court and Parliament in Westminster that created all those laws of commerce and trading, bank of admiralty, mortgage, lands, loans, bank, finance in the world through this flag. Okay, so that's what I wanted to say. I wanted you to just ring Shannon up. Now I'll email him and let him know my intentions is to seize Cook Street. And we are raising the flag, raising this flag on Waitangi Marae now, any time now, because of Brexit has exited from the EU Parliament and John Key. That's your, your entity. I see, John Key, you are making deals already straight to Britain, UK. That was quick of you to do that, to, to, to ask the British government while Cameron is still the Prime Minister, to sneak in and try and get a deal going. Now, we'll write to the British military to cut that off because they, they don't have to worry about EU Parliament now because they've got their own autonomy and their own control from the, British, the new British government. I'm hoping that that lead, 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 um, leadison, 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 uh, uh, woman, that's her name, Ledson, would be the new Prime Minister. She's a Brexit uh, campaigner um, with um, uh, Boris Johnson. He doesn't want to be the Prime Minister. He would have been an ideal Prime Minister, but he's made his decision not to be. So we've only got uh, Ledson left that I can see would be my favourite to be Prime Minister of Britain. A woman. Uh, so, um, um, at this stage, um, uh, I'm hoping that uh, we can get uh, things going for us because um, Napui heard uh, one of the chiefs, uh, Willie Pater, uh, call me yesterday uh, to see how things are going. Um, just keep in touch with him because Kohepa Epiha is looking after his taumata. Um, that's his field, and Kingi Tau is looking after the military from coming here from uh, America. Uh, if it's a threat to our economy and our um, system of new government to Britain, okay. So John Key is, is now a conflict of interest. He's a threat uh, with uh, Obama and Hillary Clinton going through trial stage now with the FBI and John Key will be the same with the CIB here the corrupt as hell themselves uh, with Cook Street I want them out of my row and that's all I want to settle out of the court with Natalie Flower Dew Brown detective, CIB rested me here I want that settled um, without any fuss or bother I'll put that into another court another day I just want her out of my row and every other police got a pound note on their head now, a trillion pounds each. It's mounting up. I warned them, and I warned uh, Shannon um, to
to tell the judge that they are all subjected to the pound note levy getter instrument on their heads now as a consequence of arresting me illegally while I'm the landowner here with these land blocks sorting them out. The trust, I'm going along with the system until such time as the people decide what they want to do with it. Right? But at the moment, the land is still belongs to the native, not Maori, the native. The Maori is the beast of the Crown Corporations and John Key's government. That's the part I'm taking to court on who are they, where they get their authority from, whose jurisdiction, whose monarch, and whose authority to rule this country anymore. Okay, so those mounted up, I'm building them before we change the driver in the seat. So a lot of political things are in a turmoil in Australia, Canada, America, Britain, EU, uh, Europe, and uh, here in New Zealand because of John Key and the Queen and their racketing business inside our Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. Okay, so that's the authority in law of the land laws of England still apply to us. We can't get broken down out of that. Now I see that the um, uh, new article that's put out on Facebook is that we have uh, a threat from the uh, Vatican uh, and the New World Order uh, to come in to New Zealand with the food bill to take that and stop people from growing food for themselves. It has to go through John Key's government. I'm sorry to say that that's not going to happen with this flag right in front of you, John Key. You can't come up in court or counterclaim what a claim I have against you and your government and every minister, if you can't counterclaim what I'm saying to my barrister, that you have no authority over what I do with Britain from now on. We are in the contract. You are not in the contract with the British government. We are. The native and the chiefs that I represent as their legal advocate, customary legal advocate in this country and the Pacific Islands. I'm there, I'm saying these statements because I have a right to say everything under this flag to Britain, okay? That's our own private business, nothing to do with anyone. Cook Street has nothing to do with anyone but me and those two landowners that are occupying our land, like this. They're only occupying the land in leases. I've taken over a lease of a land as the owner, okay? As one of 45 owners in this land block. It's up to me to talk to those owners to tell them what's good for the land itself, for them, what they're going to get out of the land. They've been sitting there for years. It's, a cro it's, it's eroded. It's, it needs a lot of maintenance. I see the other blocks, the A10 block and the A A11 blocks, got erosion right through it, slipped into the sea. That's because of John Key's government. Has never done anything about it to improve the rivers. The Waipu River is just a big mess. They're going to get a bill for this, John Key. You're going to get the bill for this. And all the iwi, iwi, uh, Maori uh, leaders, all you people have been ignorant to the fact that the land belongs to the hapu, not you, iwi. You're only just a corporation running your private business under some sort of admiralty system. Vice Admiral is not an Admiral. We are the Admiral in this case, the land owners. Okay? So I want to say to everybody watching these videos that I have very much passion in what I do with land and real estate and also development of our projects from now on. So that's what I want to say today um, to Jamie. She's online at the moment. Um, okay, I'm looking forward to Sheriff's and video. Hang on. Just hold on. Just. Jamie. She has been very supportive of what I do, although we should have been working together in the office um, to make all these 
thing happen, but um, bringing up a little family is very difficult for her. But as soon as we get traction, she'll be travelling uh, to England to put their flag up and to get England. England and Wales are better off people watching this video from Britain, UK. You're the only ones left now. Scotland and Ireland abandoned ship. They've gone where they think the money's going to be and they've gone into a sinkhole of corruption and fraud. They've all gone together as birds of a feather fly together and sink together. Okay, So that's left us on our own. Britain and us are cemented with this flag and trade right through the world. And so we're going to make full use of it and the whole Pacific Islands comes under this flag and the world, the Commonwealth of the World Government, the Maui King William Commonwealth Government of the World, Britain and the rest of the world. Okay? Thank you very much. I'll just get back online now with uh, Jamie and uh, tell her the good news. Okay? Bye for now, everybody. Enjoy your day. Oh, by the way, I'm cleared to go back into the gym after being sacked out of it for my heart being too high. And now I've got the Fitbit, thanks to my daughter in Australia. It works perfect. And it's sitting on 60 at the moment on the heart beat. I was sitting at 51 when the nurse came around. So just to keep my health in order uh, so that we can function fully uh, in the business. So my tidal turbine business is on the land now. It's on the land, ready to function with Britain. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Have a nice day.